жесть. Капец, как горит. Я слышу, пожарки едут что-то. The Kremlin is inventing new ways to recruit Russians to join the army amid heavy losses at the front. Now the Russian authorities are promising land in the occupied Crimea to people who voluntarily sign a contract, according to Center for Countering Disinformation of Ukraine. It is noted that the Russian Federation is actively recruiting new soldiers, promising land in the occupied Crimea, which indicates the strategic plans of the Kremlin. Moscow uses various recruitment methods, including land giveaways and foreign volunteers, to fill its military ranks. This strategy of the Russian Federation is aimed not only at replenishing the army, but also at changing the demographic composition of the occupied Crimea in order to increase control over the region. As the Center for Countering Disinformation of Ukraine points out, this practice was used by the Russian authorities before, but land in Crimea was given only to Crimean residents for participation in the war. In addition to replenishing the ranks of its army, Moscow is also encouraging resettlement to Crimea with the aim of increasing the number of residents loyal to the Kremlin and strengthening control over the occupied peninsula, reports the TSPD. This once again confirms that the aggressor wants to continue the war at any cost. In search of new cannon fodder, the enemy spares neither his own people nor citizens of other states. The TSPD says, recall Russia has passed a law that allows migrants to be stripped of their citizenship if they refuse to do military service. According to British intelligence, after the law is signed, the practical consequences for Russian conscription are likely to be limited. However, independent Russian media continue to report on the persecution of migrants by law enforcement agencies, in particular with the aim of recruiting them to the army. The new law provides another form of legal coercion in this regard. The intelligence agency writes. The Biden administration has rejected a military proposal to send American civilians to Ukraine to service Western military equipment, including F-16 fighter jets, the Wall Street Journal reported. Previously, the U.S. National Security Council considered sending specialists to Ukraine, but the intelligence community recommended abandoning this idea, citing the fact that in the current conditions it could be dangerous. The intelligence community has expressed concern about the prospect of Russia trying to kill American contractors in Ukraine. The Wall Street Journal quotes one official as saying, According to experts, maintenance of combat aircraft could be one of the decisive moments for the defense of Ukraine. It is assumed that this mission could be carried out by Kyiv's European allies. It should be noted that one of the high-ranking Dutch officers has already confirmed that Amsterdam will pay for the contract between the civilian company and the Ukrainian Air Force, which provides for the maintenance of the aircraft. Earlier, it became known that during a massive missile attack on August the 26th, Ukraine lost one of the F-16 fighters that the West had previously given to it. The general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine confirmed the loss of the aircraft and the death of the pilot. It was later reported that the crash could have been related to so-called friendly fire. The fighter was allegedly shot down by a Patriot anti-aircraft missile system. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has dismissed Air Force Commander Mykola Oleshchuk days after the crash of an F-16 fighter jet. The New York Times, citing a Western official briefed on the preliminary investigation into the crash, said there were indications that the plane was shot down by friendly fire from a Patriot missile battery, although mechanical failure and pilot error have not been ruled out. The dismissal of Air Force Commander Lieutenant General Oleshchuk was the second high-profile dismissal this year. In February, Zelensky dismissed Ukraine's top military leader, General Valery Zaluzhny, replacing him with General Alexander Sirsky. Zelensky did not give a specific reason for the decision, which came a day after Ukraine announced the loss of the F-16, but said military leadership needed to be strengthened. We need to become stronger, and we need to take care of the people. Take care of the personnel. Take care of all our soldiers, he said.